back to English class. How are you, my dears? I am fine. And I hope you are fine too. Aren't you? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, anyway, let's go back to our lesson. I think uh, we are reading the poem Taj Mahal. Aren't we? Yes. We are reading the poem Taj Mahal written by Yes, tell me. Written by Rabindranath Tagore. Okay, let's continue the reading. Listen here. Yes, Taj Mahal. I think we have read the first part. We have discussed the first part. <coughs> Next is, uh, we are going to read the second part. But uh, let's uh, read from the first part itself. Listen. You knew Emperor of India, Shah Jahan, the life, youth, wealth, renown, all float away down the stream of time. Your only dream was to preserve forever your heart's fame. The harsh thunder of imperial power would fade into sleep like a sunset's crimson splinter. But it was your hope that at least a single eternally heaved sigh would stay to grief the sky. Though emeralds, rubies, pearls are all but as the glitter of a rainbow tricking out empty air, I must pass away, yet still one solitary tear would hang on the cheek of time in the form of this white and gleaming Taj Mahal. Okay. In the first part of the poem, Tagore is addressing Shah Jahan and telling him that your power as an emperor is very short-lived. It will pass away. It will die away. And your dream is to build a monument for your wife Mumtaz Mahal. So let us see what is uh, the leader of the Tagore is uh, telling Shah Jahan in the second part. Listen here. Though emerald, rubies, pearls, and have you ever seen emeralds, rubies, and pearls? If not, I will show you. Listen. Yes. This is emerald. And this is a ruby. And this is pearl. Can you see? Yes, this is. This is pearl. And these are stones. Precious stones. Rekna kalligal. Haven't you heard? Rekna, Rekna Kalival, yes, precious stones. These are precious stones. And there are nine precious stones. They are, listen here, they are here. Festival diamond. And next, blue sapphire. Next, cat's eye. Coral. Emerald, Gomed, Gomed, Pearl, Ruby, and Yellow Sapphire. Do you know uh, the Malayalam names of these uh, precious stones? I will show you. Rekna Kalival. They are known as, in, in Malayalam, Vajra. Diamond, you know, Vajra. Indranilam, blue sapphire. Vaidurium, cat's eye. Paviram, coral. Maradagam, um, that is, uh, what is, what is the English for? Maradagam, emerald. Gomedagam, mutt, pearl. Manikyam, ruby. Pusheryagam, pusheryagam. Yes, yellow sapphire. 
Et le sapir, ah, ça fait, ok. So these are the uh, nine important precious stones. They are just stones. Don't you know the stone in our yard? Ah, yes, these also are just stones. But they are precious stones. Why? Why they are precious stones? Because they are very beautiful. Very beautiful. And the next thing is they are very rare. They are very rare. Rare on earth. That's why they are precious stones. Tell me the word. Precious stones. Once more please. Precious stones. So these are the precious stones. Okay. So you know all these stones. And have you seen these in some ornaments? Listen. This is a uh, chain uh, with precious stones. And you can see uh, the yellow sapphire, emerald, ruby, pearl, etc. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, yeah very beautiful. beautiful. And these are the pedants oh, with the nine precious stones. You can see all these uh, emerald, uh, yellow sapphire, diamond, everything, ruby, pearl, blue sapphire, Sapir, sapir or sapphire, sapir. And listen, this is a, watch here, this is a ring with nine uh, precious stones. And this, this is a necklace uh, with the same nine uh, precious stones. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, very beautiful to look at. And listen, these are stones. Just stones, but and why are they precious? Tell me, why are they precious? Yeah, they are very beautiful and they are very rare. That's why they are precious stones. Okay, so emerald, rubies, pearls here. These three precious stones represent wealth. Remember it. What do you mean by uh, emerald, rubies and pearls here? They represent wealth. Dharam, panam, that is. Emerald, rubies and pearls. And Tagore is saying, Though emerald, rubies, pearls are all but as the glitter of a rainbow tricking out empty air. The wealth is like a rainbow. The wealth is like a rainbow. Glitter of a rainbow. What will be glitter of a rainbow? Glitter, shining. Shining means temporary shining. Short-lived shining. Okay, glitter. Tilaka, glitter of a rainbow. Rainbow. Haven't you seen rainbow? Yes, I am sure you have seen. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, it's not a good thing if you haven't seen any rainbow. Just go out of your house. Not now. <laughs> On the uh, daytime, uh, when after the rain, you may, if you are lucky, you can see rainbow in the air. So beautiful a sight. Tricking out empty air. Empty air? Where can you see uh, the rainbow? We may say that in the sky. In the sky. And is there a sky? Really? No. The sky is the air we see. Isn't it? And the air we can't see. But uh, uh, the sky is air and in the empty air. And Tagore is saying that there is nothing in the air. Have you seen the rainbow? If not, listen, I will show you. Yeah, this is the rainbow in the empty air. Tricking out 
നമ്മുടെ കണ്ണിനെ ശരിക്കും കളിപ്പിക്കുകയാണ് ഈ പ്രകാശം ഹൗ ഹൗ ദ റെയിൻബോ ഈസ് ക്രിയേറ്റഡ് ഡോണ്ട് യു നോ ഹൗ ഈസ് റെയിൻബോ ക്രിയേറ്റഡ് ഇൻ ഫിസിക്സ് ഐ തിങ്ക് യു ഹാവ് സ്റ്റഡീഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻ ഫിസിക്സ് ഹൗ ദ റെയിൻബോ ഈസ് ക്രിയേറ്റഡ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ ട്രിക്ക് ദ റെയിൻബോ റിയലി ഈസ് എ ട്രിക്ക് ഇൻ ദ എയർ ആൻഡ് ട്രിക്ക് വിത്ത് അവർ ഐസ് സോ ദ റെയിൻബോ ലുക്ക് ഹിയർ how beautiful it is the colors the seven colors of the rainbow very beautiful isn't it yes glitter of a rainbow tricking out empty air uh, how many time how, how long you can see the rainbow in the air in the sky let us say sky that's all so how many how long you can see the rainbow for some minutes isn't it very short lived the beauty of the rainbow is very short lived very short lived so tagore is saying here that your wealth also is very short lived they will pass away they will go away they will die away so here tagore is comparing two things what are they emerald rubies and pearls that is wealth and rainbow so wealth and rainbow tagore is comparing wealth and rainbow how can we compare wealth and rainbow how can yes ഒരു കാര്യത്തിൽ അവർ ഒരുപോലെയാണ് രണ്ട് കാര്യത്തിൽ വാട്ട് ആർ ദേ ക്യാൻ യു സേ ഹൗ ദ വെൽത്ത് ആൻഡ് റെയിൻബോ ആർ സെയിം ബോത്ത് ആർ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ വെൽത്ത് ഈസ് ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ ഇസ് ഇൻ ഇറ്റ് ആൻഡ് റെയിൻബോ ഓൾസോ ഇസ് ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ വെൽത്ത് ഈസ് ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ എമറാൾഡ് റൂബീസ് പേഴ്സ് ആർ ദ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ യെസ് ദേ ആർ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ and rainbow also is beautiful and there is one more comparison can you tell me rainbow is short lived and wealth also is short lived so um, tagore is comparing emerald rubies pearls that is wealth with rainbow why both are beautiful and short lived can you get the idea yes though emerald rubies pearls are all but as the glitter of a rainbow tricking out empty air and must pass away they must pass away what do you mean by pass away die away go away they will not last permanently they are temporary what is the word temporary permanent temporary permanent you know they will last and temporary they will not last long okay yet still one solitary tear would hang on the cheek of time in the form of this white and gleaming taj mahal so tagore is uh, saying here that your wealth is temporary like a rainbow and in the uh, early lines uh, tagore told shah jahan that your power your imperial power is temporary like the sunset crimson splendor do you remember yes like your wealth also is temporary it will disappear the wealth also will disappear and then what is the temp- what is the permanent thing listen still one solitary tear tear don't you know tear uh, aren't you having you cried 
Yes, I will show you the tear, the solitary tear. Listen, look at the eyes. Only one tear. Solitary. What will be solitary? Only one. Alone. Solitary. Say the word. Solitary. Once more. What do you mean by solitary? Only one. Alone. Etc. So this is the tear. Only one tear. Still one solitary tear would hang on the cheek of time. Hang on the cheek of time. What do you mean by time? I think we have uh, seen uh, the units of time etc. But here the time means kalam. Not just samayam. But kalam. Okay, listen here. Look at this picture. One solitary tear in the form of Taj Mahal. So, Tagore is uh, saying that this Taj Mahal is the tear of Shah Jahan on the death of his beloved wife. Who is uh, Shah Jahan's wife? Yes, Mumtaz Mahal. Okay. Still one solitary tear would hang on the cheek of time in the form of this white and gleaming Taj Mahal. Gleaming, what will be gleaming? Shining. Gleaming means shining. We come across another word, glitter. Same meaning, gleaming. Gleaming Taj Mahal. So, your wealth, your power, your youth, Everyone will go away. Everything <laughs> will go away. But your Taj Mahal will last for all the time. So your Taj Mahal will be here as a symbol of your love to your wife. Your grief on her death. Okay? Your sorrow, your sadness on her death. That is the hope of Shah Jahan when he made the Taj Mahal. Okay, that is our saying in the last. This the same meaning is there in the last line of the first part. At least a single eternally if the sigh would stay to grief the sky. Dukhatinde pradigamai Taj Mahal. There is. There will be. So Tagore is telling that the Taj Mahal is the sigh of Shah Jahan, the tear of Shah Jahan. That is the meaning. Okay. Now uh, you we have read the uh, whole poem, and I hope you like the poem because it's very beautiful. When we read the poem, we can see all those things. The sunset spring, uh, uh, crimson splendor, we can see the stream of time, we can see uh, the Taj Mahal, we can see in our mind the Taj Mahal, the emeralds, the rainbow, everything we can see. Okay, so the poem is very beautiful. Now listen here, I will show you one thing. Listen here, this is the idea. Tagore, uh, Tagore, Tagore is telling to Shah Jahan. Listen, let us read it. Shah Jahan, you knew that everything in the world would disappear. Our wealth, youth, fame, all would disappear. Your power and wealth as the emperor also would disappear within a short time. But you wanted to keep the memory of your beloved wife. You created Taj Mahal as a symbol of your love and grief to keep the memory of your beloved wife. So this is the idea. This is the theme of the poem. But is these lines, these seven or eight lines, is beautiful as the poem as this 18 
lines then what is the difference between uh, these two this prose and this poem yes the only one difference the uh, the idea is same the idea in this poem and this prose is same but why the poem is more beautiful than this this prose do you know yes because tagore has has given some ornaments to this idea so given some ornaments don't you know ornaments yes these are the ornaments uh, don't you remember yes this is a necklace it's an ornament uh, this is a ring <clears throat> it's an ornament this is a pendant locket this is an ornament like that so what is the difference between these two yes so tagore has given some ornaments to his idea nammala ornaments ubhayikkarle nammala aabharanangal aniyum thalile poo vekkum pottu thodum ille kannaludum ingirekka nammale nammale thanne endha sundariyulla sundaranmaru aakkarunde is a army sure we are doing that why ഇതൊന്ന് നല്ല ഡ്രസ്സൊക്കെ ഇടില്ലേ നമ്മൾ നല്ല ഭംഗിയുള്ള ഡ്രസ്സൊക്കെ ഇടുമല്ലോ വൈ ആർ വി ഡൂയിങ് ദാറ്റ് ടു മേക്ക് എസ് മോർ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ റീസൺ ഹിയർ ഓൾസോ ടാഗോർ ഹാസ് മെയ്ഡ് ഹിസ് ഭയം മോർ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ വിത്ത് സം ഓർണമെൻസ് അതിനെന്ത് ഇവിടെ മാലയോ വളയോ പൂവോ ഒക്കെ ഉണ്ടോ ബട്ട് പൊയറ്റ്സ് ആർ യൂസിങ് സം അതർ ഓർണമെൻസ് and you know what are they i will show you listen here for the beautification of poems they are using some ornaments the name of those ornaments is poetic devices poetic devices tell me poetic devices once more please poetic devices you know what are the poetic devices these are here are they are coming diction rhyming voice rhyme scheme rhythm alliteration assonance refrain imagery figure of speech symbolism allusion etc I will read it once more, one by one. You repeat after me. Okay? Diction. Rhyming words. Rhyme scheme. Rhythm. Alliteration. Assonance. Refrain. Imagery. Figure of speech. symbolism allusion and there are so many others also we are uh, you learning only these things okay so write down these poetic devices in your notebook don't forget 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 there are 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 11 poetic devices write down the name we will discuss uh this in detail in the next class okay so write down in your notebook this these things okay <clears throat> now before closing the uh, closing today's class i will tell you some one more thing what is this yes this is taj mahal one of the wonders of the world taj mahal is one of the wonders of the world and there are seven new wonders of the world and seven old wonders of the world so total 14 wonders of the 
world. I want you to search about the wonders of the world. So, 14 wonders of the world. So, you please search in Google about these wonders of the world and find out what are they and uh, what, are, what are the names, what are their names and uh, uh, where are they, etc. All things about these wonders of the world. And I want each one of you to present in the next class, in the next Google Meet class, you have to present about any one of the wonders of the world. Everything, name, where are they, what are their specialities, etc. Okay, so be prepared. Be prepared about one of the wonders of the world. And let us discuss in our group who is going to uh, present uh, which one. Okay, let us discuss it in the group. So, this is all for today's class. And let's meet in the next class. And before that, don't forget to come to our group now itself uh, to discuss your um, doubts. You can ask me your doubts and I can clear. And if you have any uh, doubts in the meaning, uh, you can uh, search in Google. And don't forget about the wonders of the world. Okay. So, see you in the group and see you in the next class. Till then, bye-bye. See you.